Hi everybody, this is Rob Halford, the Metal God, and you are watching, of course, Metal Hammer TV. And was it a younger audience as well, um, that you were sort of, you know, maybe then sort of 10 or 15, the average age, for a fan who's more likely to be leaping around and sweating at the front than sort of you know, maybe sitting down or propping up the bar with an ale. It's um, it was a mix. I mean, because we were a new band with a, with a you know new players and a, just a, what we felt was a new sound. Um, word was going around, and uh, you know specific generations of people turn on to that. Hey, it's a new band, and you know they sound like this and. I really feel that that's the kind of music for me, and I'm going to go check them out. So it was, it was mixed. It was priest fans, and it was just a whole new breed of fight fans, which there still are. I mean, I, I can't believe how successful this is going. This this look back with the with the movie and the the K5 demos. I mean, suddenly out of the blue, I've got my own little metal label called Metal God Entertainment Records. And we got distribution through all different territories in the world, and um, we're, we've had to do a second printing of all this stuff. It's only been out barely a few weeks, so there's just it's doing something even now, all these years later. And I, I'm kind of pleased because again, I've always felt that whatever I've been involved with, primarily with Priest, great metal lives and lasts forever. Just because you made it in 1976, don't don't mean nothing. You know, Victim of Change you still sounds as hot and fresh in 2007 or 2008 if we play it next year uh, as it was when we first made it. There's my Blackberry peeping off. So. Um, and also, so why was it particularly um, that it was a band? It wasn't you solo. <clears throat> I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Didn't want that to be a distraction. Um, I, I just felt that. Uh, it was going to be a new band and I was a singer for this new band and it was called Fight and let's just see where it will take us. I didn't want to use my name and what had preceded my name with um, as a as an important thing. It, it, it wasn't important to me. I just wanted to be, a, you know, this bloke that sings metal in this group called Fight. Okay, also, awesome. what was it like then, having, you know, been in Priest right from year dot, uh, what was it like looking at Priest from the outside? Was it sort of kind of strange, like a waking dream, you know what I mean? You know, I never felt like I left Priest. I mean, that might sound bizarre, but I never felt that I was out of the band. I mean, Tim was doing great work with on Jugulator and Demolition. He was a smashing bloke. And the important thing was that Priest was still alive and, and doing all the great things that they, that they were doing. And, I mean... I, I was away, but I still felt connected somehow. But I was never under the impression that oh, one day we'll all be back together again, because there was just there was just this this great gap of um, non-communication, and uh, you know bands, you know a lot of bands. We're all different personalities and chemistry. We've got all these different foibles and all this this kind of thing going on. You got to be a if you're in a band, you've also got to be a part psychologist and a part psychiatrist, and you've got to get all get all that going on, haven't you? As much as anything else. So even though I was away, I mean, uh, uh, in all honesty, like we've said before, we never knew we were going to reunite until we were in my kitchen up in the Midlands, putting together the um, Metallurgy box set. Up until then, it was just rumours. But, you know, the band was going on and Tim was doing great work and I thought, well, this is brilliant. But I would obviously wanted to be back in the band. I was just like, Was that kind of a gradual thing? Happen. Or, you know, did you just think, oh, you know, this is going all very well and, and so forth, but actually I quite like... Was it like a sort of gradual inkling? Were there moments that you, like, you know, catch them on MTV? Yeah, obviously. I mean, I, I heard... Um, I heard Jugulite and Demolition. I wanted to go and see the band in concert. <laughs> I'm a fan. That's what I love about being in Priest. I'm just as much of a fan of the band as fans are, as being in it. I might sound a bit mental, but that's just the way it is. But I, I didn't I didn't think that was the right thing to do, especially because we hadn't got the communication and if like, Alfred's in the building. You don't do that. It's not the right thing to do. No.